What's up guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to control your Galaxy Nexus with a mouse. Now this will work for any mouse that's wireless or not and uh, the cruiser like case here is obviously optional but go ahead and get one, they are great. So what you're going to need for this is obviously the um, phone just went off there is the phone and you're going to want to go into developer options and make sure you've checked pointer location just so you know exactly what you're doing or you get a little bit lost and you can see it, this is what it shows up, it brings up like a little cross and it tracks where you go and also at the top it shows you some technical things. You also need a USB on the go adapter, fairly cheap to buy online and this just plugs into your micro USB slot. You're also going to need the app called Stick Mount, this is available in the market, this will just allow you to use USB devices with your phone. Now I'm using a Logitech M5, M525 here, so I can't read that, and it's got a little unifying Logitech adapter, you just plug that straight in and you are ready to go. So see the screen just flashed there, stick mount registered that it is connected, and as you can see there the pointer is now moving around the screen in relation to what I'm doing on the mouse, and you can see scrolling there moves through the home screens, there you go. And you can also click and drag. Okay, so I'm just going to pop into settings, show you that you can scroll up and down using the scroll wheel. Really nice to use. I think one of the main benefits of this is you could connect your phone up to a MHI, M MHL, sorry, to HDMI adapter, and hook it up on your TV. And you know you don't have to go to your phone to start uh, changing things around. You can just sit, sit on your couch or whatever with a mouse and just control it. Uh, keyboards will also work this way, so say if you've got uh, two Logitech devices that both use the unifying receiver, I believe you can use both the keyboard and the mouse at the same time, which is great. You can see that I just went into the camera app, took a photo. Okay, now we'll just cut to a nice steady shot so you can see. And here we go on to Droid Life, great website. You can see I'm just, you can't see it right now, but I'm scrolling just up and down the page. Okay, so we're going to head home now, and we're going to try out a game just to see how it goes. Going to be a little cut in the video because I could not find Fruit Ninja for reasons I won't go into. Here we go, I'm just loading up Fruit Ninja now. I'll spin the phone around so you get a better view. And uh, I don't like fun. <laughs> Obviously you can use your fingers as well, so if you've got the mouse hooked up you can still use your fingers to control the phone. Now playing games with the mouse is uh, quite an interesting experience. It's, you know, say, it's easy to be more precise with your movements, but it's not really as fun as using your fingers. So, and obviously you have a game like GTA where you know you want to be in a car, you want to be pressing on the buttons to be driving it and steering at the same time. You can't really do that with a mouse. So, better to stay away from those types of games. But say if you got your phone hooked up to a TV, and you just fancy a bit of Fruit Ninja or simple game like that, maybe Paper Toss, maybe Temple Run when it's released, not sure yet, but yeah, it's great fun, and yeah. So okay, I hope this video has uh, helped you if you're planning to use a mouse on your phone. Uh, be sure to check out all my other videos in the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.